Okay, I was not prepared, I was not prepared, I was not prepared, I was not prepared, I was not prepared to find myself a room, and I found myself a room, and it's three bars! And he's happy! We're doing shit! We're doing stuff! We're here! Yeah! I kind of forgot how to play. No, you were supposed to keep going. How do I, how do I play? Was that an overhead? That, that looked like an overhead, but I'm not actually sure. That looked punishable. Bitch! You're supposed to keep going through! No, that was not a shit. That wasn't what I wanted. I wanted to do the overhead. That's an overhead! The best Unio gameplay you will see ever, right here, live! Good block, good block. See, okay, this person knows how to block Nanase. I, however... Do not know how to block Ori. Ow! Ha! Oh, I didn't even notice the time. That person could have just down back and I would have died. I really, I, it lagged a little bit right there. Yeah, it's starting to lag, which is not my favorite thing. Oh, I thought that was too low. Yo, this person is free to grabs. <laughs> I'll have to remember that. What, 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 what is happening? What is happening? What is going on? Not gonna do that. Hey, they broke one. Hey, they broke another one. Hey, my projectile sucks. Oh, they broke another one. They figured me out and then lag. Saw that coming. Saw that charge coming from a my I don't know if Ori is a uh I don't know if Ori is a fuck what am I trying to say? Is a charge character? How did I forget the fucking term charge character? I don't know if Ori is a charge character. Damn, this motherfucker came back. This person was in the lobby before I started, and I was like, man, that's a one-bar connection. Don't nobody want to play a goddamn one-bar connection. And they left, and I was like, yeah, one-bar connection left, and now the one-bar connection's back. Happy days. <laughs> I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled at the prospect. Yeah, I was not expecting to find a match. I'm very happy. I mean, there's only two lobbies right now. There's only two lobbies right now, so I was very lucky to find this one person. And this motherfucker is ruining it. God damn it. I'm not looking forward to whatever this has in store. Yeah, this is, this is terrible. Like, if, if this dude can actually do shit in this connection, like, kudos. Yeah, that's an overhead, but I'm not gonna block it, not in this. Really? Uh, yeah. Now what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Yo, this person though loves the lag. Fun. This is good times. Great, enjoyable times. Glad that I came in here with the three bar person. I really beat 
beat me? Really? Okay. I mean, uh, that one. I understand why that one beat me. I can't believe why that other one beat me. I'm just, I was just mashing on grab. I was just mashing on grab. Like, I have no interest in this fight in any way. I don't even know how I got an up back right there. Oh, I tried to grab again, but I timed it on his wake up instead of when he would, like, way before this dude would wake up, so yeah. Fun! I enjoy playing and Who doesn't enjoy playing in debilitating lag? Obviously, this person enjoys it, because why would they join a lobby where they're a one-bar connection and that's the quality of shit if they didn't enjoy the lag? Go away! Fuck! Sometimes life just sucks. Sometimes life just sucks, and now is one of those times. I mean, like, if this dude sticks around this I mean this is one of the biggest reasons why I'm not playing this game regularly one of them is just the simple fact that I can't find consistent matches I mean like I said I was very surprised to find matches I'm just right now it's uh I should be asleep really but I can't sleep so I figured let's find something else to do let's see if anybody's playing O'Neal and so people are playing O'Neal so yay I get to record a video but the problem is is that it's like this I've kind of I've kind of mentioned shit like this before but it's just the simple fact that like I don't mind I don't I'm not terribly big on the prospect of having like doing this getting my ass beat and then having to wait that sucks you when you get your ass beat you want to try and apply like what you took what you learned from the match and like you know apply it try to learn things learn the matchup do whatever you got to do to try to fix what caused you to lose when you're in a lobby of multiple people you don't get to do that and it's terrible and I hate it and so that's part of it but the other part of it is just this dude's existence right here this person's existence where they live in the lag they don't they couldn't care less that their matches are basically unplayable they're perfectly fine with it whereas me I fucking hate it I can't stand it and so when you're in a lobby with multiple people stay free like you don't get to choose unless you are the lobby owner and you can kick people you don't get to choose but I guess I should, I don't know, I mean, I guess I could try and create, like, four plus person lobbies. This is one thing I have not done. Uh, but basically what I do is I will create, I will try to create a two person lobby so I can run a set against somebody so that this doesn't happen. I don't get my ass beat and then I have to hold that and sit here with my thumb up my ass, not able to do anything about it. Um, so I'm gonna try Gordo in the lag, like, why not? I just, I might as well. Um, but so, nobody joins the two-player lobbies. Nobody. I will sit here for a max of, like, 30 minutes, and not once will I ever actually get a match. It doesn't happen. Um, and so, and then, like, I'll create, like, you know, like, a four-person lobby, and people will join, but like I said, I don't like sitting here and waiting to have to play again. It sucks. What's happening? I'm fairly certain I was down backing. I was not down backing there, I was mashing buttons there. This is great. What? Why'd that hit me? Like, I'm stand blocking. How did that hit? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Lag. Just lag. Yay. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna leave the lobby after this. Like this is this is my life. That was unsafe. That was an overhead. I can't block it in this lag. Like a massively like a charged fucking overhead. I can't block it in this lag. Alright, so I just wanted to see whether or not he could do anything about that from that distance. I can't time anything. I'm trying to time. It's my fault. It's my own fault. Like, obviously there's lag. Obviously, this is how this is gonna work. Why am I trying to do things? Oh. 
Thank you for the invincible super. There it is! That came out so late. That came out so late. I did that like before I fucking woke up. Yes, why am I trying to time that? I, I have no answers. Why did that combo? God, this is awful. Okay. I didn't even get the follow up. I didn't even get the fucking 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 follow up. This is fucking stupid. This is so stupid. Like it's so stupid. I hate my fucking life. This is so stupid. Ah! This is irritating. I can't. I cannot possibly describe how aggravating that shit is. But yeah, I have absolutely zero. Did that? Did that? If I pick my cat, is it in? okay? I have picked my cat. I didn't hear the sound. But yeah, I'm, here. I'm taking a break from Demon Souls. I had to take a break. World Four is killing me. World Four Two, to be specific. I'll talk more about it after this. Well, probably after the match, after this, because I'll lose in the lag. Good block! Oh shit, I fucked up. There was supposed to be a dash in there. This person is blocking everything! Quit blocking everything! I guess I just have to wait. Oh my god. I just have to wait until they kill themselves. What? What? This person's blocking everything! You're blocking every I did not mean to I did not mean to do that. Oh hey! This motherfucker's blocking everything! Everything is bleeding blocked! Everything! So much is being blocked that I'm adding BLs on the stuff! Shit! Give me, give me a dash! Give me a dash! I just want a dash! Ow! That's unnecessary. Shit! Whoa! That was supposed to be the airborne projectile, but I didn't get it. I meant to tiger knee it. Because I thought that would happen. Ah! Fuck! Shit! I done fucked up. I done fucked up, fellas. Wow, that was just mean of me. I didn't even really mean to do that. I was I don't know why I was hitting the button, but it worked. Because I interrupted the overhead. I'm amazing. <laughs> oh, I'm actually gonna leave because I don't wanna play this dude. I really that's how little I wanna play this motherfucker. That's how little enjoy. Enjoy your life. I like I would like to be able to sit like that player, unfortunately. Wow, that sucks. That player, unfortunately, not the best. Not a particularly phenomenal, amazing player. But the connection is good. Maybe they're there to learn. I'm there to learn. Maybe everything will work out just fine. I forgot to try and put up, like, please only join me if you have a good connection. Um, you know, maybe we could get some, you know, we could get some mutual learning going on here versus that other dude, which is just a damn waste of time. And again, that's my biggest problem with joining lobbies with multiple people sitting around and playing is that the connections are all over. And even then, this is a very Arc System Works specific problem. Well, not Arc System Works specific. You have no idea uh, in Marvel either what the connections are going to be like because it only tells you. Like, it doesn't even tell you what the connections are once you get into the lobby of Marvel. They just tell you what the connection might be, hopefully, maybe, possibly off of like a one second check. <laughs> initially when you first search for rooms um but uh so what am i what am i what am i what am i talking about so arc system works i don't i really don't understand why they display what everybody's connection is to the host 
Because what fucking use is it for me to see what everybody else's connection is to another person? I want to know what their connection is to me. That's what's important. I don't give a shit what their connection is to the host. Because somebody could potentially have a one bar connection to the host, but a three bar connection to me. It's a very realistic possibility. Like, I could have a two bar connection to the host, and it plays just fine. This other person has a zero bar connection to the host, and it sucks. But against me, it's a three bar connection, and it's perfect. You don't know. I don't understand why the hell Arc System Works designed it that way and continues to design it this way. This is not like a specific game problem. This is in every single game they have ever created. That is how the player match system works. It's ridiculously irritating. I can't describe how much it irks me and how I, how little I understand the concept. Like, why would you do that? I don't understand the reasoning. I don't see any reasoning. But anyway, Demon Souls. So why have we departed? Let me actually. I'll just go. I'll you know what? I'll just go. Hang on. Before we do this, I'll just we'll just see. We'll see what happens. I didn't mean to search, but we'll get. Yeah, we'll, we'll create a room. Room capacity. Speed restrictions. 3 plus. That's right, bitches. What is this? You will not be matched with players outside of that color. Oh, your rank thingy. Yeah, who gives a shit about that? That shit's useless. Let's just see. Let's just see what happens. Let's see if there's a bunch of 3-bar connections just floating around waiting to play me. I don't know. But anyway, Demon Souls. So World 4-2 is body in my business bodying my business there's this specific little route i actually got past it but then what happened how did i die because i got shot in the fucking back by a resurrecting enemy that's what fucking happened there once you get into 4-2 there start to be basically that game's bell maidens they will continually summon these dude these like kind of specter looking dudes they're somewhat invisible, but they glow in certain parts. Usually when they're trying to swing at you, they'll glow. Or like this specific one that killed me. Their heads are just one giant orb of glowiness. And they shoot big ass beams at you. And I killed him. And then ran around to try to get an item. And he had resurrected. And that motherfucker shot me in the back and killed me. God, it was irritating. But right initially, like right at the get-go. At the very, once you, because I, I beat the first boss. Which is why I'm in World 4 too, if you know anything about Demon Souls. I beat the first boss. And right after that, you have to go... Th well, you have to go through a little bit of stuff, but you can just drop straight down. For some reason, the drop damage in Demon Souls is very minimal. Very, very small amount of drop damage. So I've dropped a drop, like, two, three stories up and suffer, like, two pixels of health. <laughs> it was almost nothing. Very negligible. Uh, so that I would kill the dude that's summoning all the stuff right there. Get a massive amount of souls. It's absolutely lovely. You get like 6k for killing that dude. Well, that one dude. Move right along. And then right outside of that, there's this tiny thin path. Where you're not, it's, you're not getting by anybody. There is space for one person on this path. And there are like 6 enemies I want to say. Maybe 5. 5 enemies along that specific path that you have to kill that are very irritating. All while flying around the because you're kind of like on a mountainous area so flying around on the outside in the sky are these stingray looking motherfuckers that shoot projectiles at you now here's the problem i don't have any good range i have a bow but my bow does no fucking damage and it's hard as hell to hit these motherfuckers with arrows the arrows are very slow and they're tr i i just i can't the targeting system will not hit them no matter what and i have not figured out the formula for how high it has to be, for how far away they are so it doesn't dip down below them, or how far I have to lead them. I can't figure it out. And they're really, they're far away, so it's not just an easy shot. And so, this is just that one section makes me want to punch somebody. I want to punch somebody when I go through that section. No lie. If there was somebody next to me laughing at me while I played, because obviously this is something that is a very laughable moment, I would laugh if I watched somebody witnessing that frustration, but I am the one that is indulging in that frustration. So fuck that moment. So if there was some motherfucker next to me that was laughing at me, I would punch them. I would punch them very hard. It's fucking killing me. I really, it really is just irritating. And so what else do I have? Because I'm trying to think of everything else I have. Because basically this all kind of sums up into one very specific point regarding that game. But so World 1, you get cock blocked. Like I think World 1, you're not supposed to get through that section until you 
beat everybody else. Um, because right now, the fog door, after the second boss of that section, is like, yo, you need to beat one of the main bosses of the game in order to progress. And all the main bosses are waiting on, like, part three of their world, so like, two, three, 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 four, three, five, three, all that shit. So, we saw me already get cock-blocked by man-eaters. I haven't gone back and fought them yet. I think I, I think I can beat them, but I haven't gone back and tried because that little bell dude at the, the little mind flayer motherfucker on the staircase is irritating me. Um, the That's World 3. World 2 is my main point, so I'll get to that on the end. World 4 is the one I'm on now, and then World 5 is a fucking poison swamp area. We know how, if you if you saw anything regarding my Blight Town thing from Dark Souls, you know how I feel about poison swamps. I'm not looking forward to that section, so I've been kind of avoiding it, but sec World 4 is definitely, I would say, the most difficult overall, mostly thanks to those flying Manta Ray dudes. Uh, it's basically only because of them, because like... And this ties into my point. So World 2, almost everything in World 2 is resistant to physical damage. Not ev They are actually not resistant to bash damage. That's actually how I got through the that section was by equipping a club and clubbing everything to death. Um, but once you get to Part 2 of World 2, they are resistant to all forms of physical damage. All forms. And they're resistant to fire damage, which is basically kind of... I have like two items that can uh, that can uh, induce magical damage on my weapon. But aside from that, those two items, which I would like to save for the Flame Lurker, because the Flame Lurker will body my business if I try to fight him with a pure physical class, everything is just res incredibly... Like, it's not like, oh, they're only taking half damage, so I'm going to take twice as many swings. They take like a tenth of the damage <laughs> from physical hits. And so, getting through that section is incredibly annoying to do it's not difficult to run through because i did the very first time i beat that game i got very adept at running through because i died to the flame lurker like five times i think before i went back to world three and world three two is where i eventually finally quit playing the game um but uh so i got very good at like just running through everything but if you want to actively explore and actually find everything god it is a nightmare of a grind and so it actually has me considering uh, play, picking up a new character. Because almost everything in this game is just gets destroyed by magic. It's like, if you pick a melee class, you are from the outset making the game, like, five times harder than if you pick a magic dude. It, it's really crazy. And so even then, like, I, I looked up... Um, I checked out a speed run of Demon Souls purely because I mean, like, you don't learn anything about the game by de you're not gonna spoil yourself by watching a speed run. You're not really gonna see any any real boss tactics or any real like get any kind of insight as to how a boss works from a speed run because everything about a speed run is maximizing your bullshit potential. And so, like, I watched this speed run, and this dude is using homing soul missiles to kill every single boss in, like, two hits. There were a couple that took three or four, but the majority of them only took two hits to kill from homing soul missiles. Um, but the main reason why I wanted to do that is because, obviously, when you do a speed run, you learn the maximum, the most efficient route through an area. So I was sitting there like, how, as a speed runner? Would you get through this section? I don't want to have to fight these dudes every single time I die in this area all over and over and over again. Because it's very... It's difficult. The chances of dying are very high. Which means I lose all of the souls I have gathered up to that point. Because my bloodstain will go away and be replaced by this new one. Um, and so it's just kind of like, you know, I don't want to deal with that. So how does a speedrunner get through this section? Because they're not going to just take their time, be incredibly careful, slowly pick off enemies one by one. They're gonna get through it somehow. So how does a speedrunner do it? Let me go check out this video. Now, you may ask after all that lead up, Nate, how did the speedrunner do it? They used the glitch. <laughs> Fucking hell, like I don't wanna use a glitch. I'm not trying I know a lot of people are like very judgmental when they first see speedruns, like, how is this even playing the game? They're using glitches, all this shit, like, 
I understand why. It's because it's the fastest way. That's the point of a speedrun. How do you do this in the fastest manner? There are glitchless speedruns, obviously, but that's like they're on a category of their own. The majority of speedruns will abuse glitches to the fullest in order to maximize their speed. But so the glitch they use is that some areas in the game, if you fall down them, they are designed to just be endless pits. So if you fall down and you pass the threshold of like where the game just determines like oh yes this is an endless pit you die immediately however if apparently from what I gathered from watching this video if you fall from a um, if you if you are falling toward an existing piece of land like you're not falling into a pit uh, that's bottomless you're falling toward another section of the level you will not die until you hit the ground and so it's actually possible to leap off, not leap, you actually can't jump in that game, but to walk off, you start falling, you enter the menu, you queue up, quit game, you hit, you splat, you go splat, and right before you died pops up, you quit the game, and then you load the game, and the game's like, hey, he was right here, here you go, here's where you are. And so that actually allowed the person to completely bypass everything to do with that level and they actually land in the middle of the boss area and they have to go activate the fog door from behind in order to activate the boss fight it was ridiculous but so obviously like i'm not gonna do that that's pointless the point the major reason why there's basically two big reasons to play these games the inherent difficulty in them so you know you get that satisfaction when you win but also just the exploration potential and Demon Souls is very good with that. Demon Souls has very good level design. In my, not as good as Dark Souls. I would say Dark Souls beats it on that front. Uh, because it has just that amazing interconnectivity that Demon Souls doesn't have. Because it's all kind of separated into war pubs. Um, but still, Demon Souls level design is very good. It's very enjoyable to explore through. Beside, you know, some occasions of nonsense enemy placement. <laughs> Which is bound to happen in games like this. Like, the developers want you to die, so they are going to put things in front of you that will kill you. Um, but so... What am, I, what am I trying to say? Oh yeah, that's not something I'm going to indulge in. That's, that didn't help me at all. I'm not going to do that. Uh, so I'm kind of stuck on my own to have to try and do this. But that, that kind of blew my mind that, that worked. Like, that's crazy that you can just, like, leap off a mountain and fall for like 10 seconds and bypass like an hour of the game by just hitting quit game and then loading it back up that really that blew my mind but so obviously unfortunately we ain't getting nobody let's just let's go see if somebody else popped up like maybe somebody else no nah, that other dude left there's nobody there ain't nobody there ain't nobody just this poor motherfucker sitting here all alone like, what if I try to do same area only? Do you think it gives me new people? It gives me the same exact motherfucker. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, I really, I don't have, any, I don't have any options here. I am... I want to actually see, because it tells you, like, monthly, right? How are these people finding so many matches on a monthly basis? That's actually really not that much, when you really think about it. Like, this person's played, what, about 800 matches right there? 800 matches in 23 days. Well, that's actually pretty, 40 matches a day, almost. That's pretty good. Because 40 matches a day would probably take you around, I would say, a good two hours. But yeah, so where the hell are these people getting? Actually, you know what? A lot of these look like Japanese names, which would definitely explain it. Yo, look at this motherfucker. Look at that impressiveness. But yeah, I mean, I, um, it's, I really, it sucks. Because, I mean, like, I've said it before, but I may as well reiterate. I was very optimistic regarding this game because I was really I'm really enjoying it I'm really enjoying playing the NAS I really enjoy playing Gordo too but I also understand that probably everybody that has anything to do with this game is sick and goddamn tired of Gordo um but I'm really enjoying playing the NAS despite her faults and despite the difficulties present with trying to pick her but there's just 
There's no real community. There's no real population. And it, it really does suck, you know, it's, but that's bound to happen, especially, to, I mean, today was the day, well, actually, I was going to say, today is the day the Japanese version of Blaze Blue Chrono Phantasm Extend dropped, but if you're importing it, I highly doubt you got it on release day. So I was just going to say, like, but that is going to pull more, this is gonna, that's, that game coming out now is going to pull people away from Guilty Gear, it's going to pull even more people away from this, Persona 4 Arena, blah, 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 that whole, everything, you know, the same exact thing that happens every time a new anime game comes out, it's... It sucks, but that's the way the community works. Like, there's no point in bitching about it. I'm not going to change it. Nobody's going to change it. That's just how that shit works. People want to play a new game. Very few people want to, like... Like, people will come back occasionally and try to play it, but very few people want to just, like, master it. There's no, there's no Street Fighter players in the anime game community. And by that, I mean there's nobody willing to just sit down and play this one game and master this one game and fuck the rest of them they want to play all of them and so because of that there's it's basically just a really drifting community they just slowly meander through different games the newest one that comes out they play for a while then another one comes out and they go play that for a while and it just repeats the process until the newer version comes out and i don't think that would happen as badly like this is also kind of a fault of the developers in my opinion i don't think it would happen as regularly if it, as it does if they were not constantly churning out brand new updates over and over and over but they are and so you know there's really no like it's just the thought process behind it is why keep playing this current version of the game when I know there's another version coming out soon and I can just go play this newest version of this game that's fresh now rather than you know alright, this game is settled for a while, let's figure out the meta, let's figure out uh, all the nuances in this game. You know, basically that's it. Let's figure it out. Let's play it. Let's master it. But there's no reason to. There's no reason to because you know that, okay, there's a new version that's already out in Japan that's going to be out here at some point in time, so eventually once it gets here, we'll just figure that out for a while until another new version is announced. So... It's just, it's how, it's how it works. It's how it's come to be developed. I can complain about it all day. I can talk about the fault, the perceived, my perceived faults of that system. But fact is, I have, n they don't care. I don't speak Japanese, thus they don't care. It's a very simple fact. Like, it's, it's nice that they are kind of slowly starting to show an interest. And that was mostly thanks to their... Uh, offered pot bonus at Evo. Was it even Arc System Works that offered it, or was it Axis? I would. I think it was Arc System Works. But if Axis was the one that put that pot bonus in there, forget everything I just said. But yeah, like you just see this. Like they have no English lope tests. They have no English testers for their game. They don't care about anything outside of their island. They don't care about input outside of Japan. And so, what's the point in wasting my time trying to be like, yo? You should do this, 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 and this, instead of this, 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 and this, because this, 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 and this, when it's never going to get to anybody that matters. It's never going to reach uh, somebody that can do something about it. So it's basically just like circle jerking yourself, essentially. It's just hoping that you find somebody with like opinions that agrees with you, and you're like, yay, we all agree, and now we're not going to be able to change anything about it. But yay, we agree. And, you know, that's pointless. It's worthless. It's a waste of time. So, unfortunately, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that, you know, not everything. Let's go check it one last time. One last time. We're going to check it. We're going to see what happens. Shit.